do you use a tape measure? Even though they look different, most of these are going to be similar. Our scale should be the same. It's measuring in the inch, inch, foot scale. Um, sometimes you'll have metric along the bottom, but most of mine do not. Uh, the tips of these tape measures are movable on purpose. This is so if you're measuring against something that the, the tape portion that actually has the scale on it pushes a little closer to it. And if you're hooking on something and pulling it that way, that it pulls it a little way from the surface to get a, an accurate measurement. Now it's important that whatever you measure, whatever tape measure you use to measure a dimension, that you use the same tape measure to also you know, cut that uh, material with as well. Um, because just because the uh, you know our scale is the same doesn't necessarily mean that our tips all are. So if you go back and forth between tape measures, it might not work out so well for you. So let's start with this the small scale between the inches and have a look at what is going on here. So I've got it marked down what we're looking at and these are just fractions of an inch is all they are so we have directly in the middle between the whole inch mark is one half inch if you take half of a half you end up with a quarter so if we go between here and here half of that is a quarter inch and if you have half of a quarter that's an eighth of an inch so then we have the sixteenths in between on a smaller scale down here uh, down on to 30 seconds I'm not using it very often though so so we have one eighth of an inch a quarter three eighths of an inch one half five eighths of an inch three quarters of an inch seven eighths and then the full inch this repeats at every inch mark so that you can take you know measurements you know down to an accuracy of basically a sixteenth of an inch on this particular tape measure so um, also along with that we have foot marks that are placed after you get to the foot mark it begins to give you another inch two three so on um, so it's one feet one inch that's how you read that now You'll notice some red letters are typically marked on 16s. This is because our building uh, construction methods, we usually make stud walls at 16 inch on center. Pull out this other tape measure here. So now on this one, it's a little bit different yet. When we get to the foot mark, instead of just giving you the you know, one foot and then this is an inch, it actually has one foot, one inch one foot two inch and so this is pretty handy really um, so if you have it extended out and you're on a ladder and you're trying to get a, a good measurement then you know you it's easier to see at a glance um, so that you can uh, you know, get the measurement you need so but every 16 inches it's going to be marked with a red letter so 16 32 48 so on and so forth and that scale, even though this is a different tape measure, is going to be the same. An inch is an inch, and hopefully that doesn't change from tool to tool. So you can see half, three quarter, quarter, everything in between.